Today, I'm going to show you how to use the color warper and why it's so important for your color grade. Now, here you can see, this is kind of like the basic color warper. You can pretty much do anything with this, but if you get the qualifier, grab something, you can actually drag it within this. And this is really good for creating different types of looks. Like I could create any kind of look with this and this is just the basic one. And I'll show you the more detailed one later. But let's say I want this like greenish one. I want these greens to be more desaturated, but then maybe I want this right here to be more saturated. And maybe I want it to be more green or maybe I want these to be red or maybe I want it all the way on the other side of the spectrum. I want it like blue or something like that. Now my computer is super slow. That's why I need a new computer when I was doing this challenge. And if you want to support that, please give it a like, subscribe to see the rest of this. Anyway, I'll reset that. But that's kind of like the extreme of what the color warper can do. I would rather go to like this one right here and you can't do this with 8-bit footage, but if your footage is like 10-bit and above and you're like working with raw files and like big files, you can use like this color picker and you can really hone in on what you want. So like, let's say I want that a little yellow and a little green, but I want this to be like way more green and you want to like just split these apart. It's really good at getting those little, little, little details. And you can create really cool looks like this tan with this like dark green. And then maybe I want to put the Luma down on the screen to make it even darker. And maybe I want to desaturate it. And it's really good at making certain types of looks. And I could go into more detail with this, but this is kind of like a beginner guide. So I don't want to overwhelm you too much, but there's like locks that you can put on. So let's say you like how this is right here and you don't want it to change, but you want to edit the more saturated ones to be green. So you can lock that in place and it won't move. Basically edit the same exact color, but at a different saturation to make it different and make it better. And you can even desaturate it and make it blue. And you can really use this to mess up your footage like I am right now, or you could do it really subtly. I have a video about Dune, how I recreated the Dune look. And I use this method specifically so that I could get that tan look because it's really hard to get those colors exactly perfect. And this tool, helps with that. You can even use this to like tint the overall image. Like that's more blue now. Now it's more green. I'll make a video about it highlighting more features, but for now I'm just going to stick to the basics. Another thing you can do with this is grab all of these, basically grab each color within its saturation. So this is all the same saturation, but you grabbed all the colors. You can bring that down and then you can do the exact same thing with something that's would be slightly more saturated and you can bring it up. And it's kind of like the hue tabs, but if the hue tabs were all in one place and you could do anything with them, that's basically what this is. You can make skin tones look perfect with this. You can really make a look with this. It is one of the best tools because even I'm a beginner with this because there's so much you can do. You can go to this tab, which I'm not even going to touch on because this this is crazy. Yeah, no, I, I have to do like a more in-depth video for this because this is just a beginner guide. This is just for like amateurs, but I will do like a pro guide once I figure this whole out because this is kind of intense. You can edit the hues. You can edit the saturation. Like you can like skew all these colors to the right, kind of like you're adjusting the overall hue of the image but you're doing it for a certain saturation anyway if that is too complicated for you or you don't want to go into that just yet i recommend watching the next video which is a lot simpler which is about sharpness and how to sharpen your image like the right way and different ways you can use to sharpen your image to create different looks and i'll put that up on screen so that you can watch